Hey everybody, so this isn't going to be a live stream, but I'm on a bit of a time crunch. I can't see the screen, so I couldn't even participate in the chat. So I figure might as well just record it and throw this onto YouTube later. But right now, I am decluttering my yarn stash. Why are so many things missing their little labels and coming unfurled? Oh no, what? Who are you? Why are you like this? Oh no. Apparently I started using this for something. All this is tangled up. I don't know who you are in terms of your color, your weight, or any of that, but... Alright, we have some silk yarn. Also all tied up. There we go. Hmm. Oh, who are you? Oh, look at that little cutie. That's such a fine thread. It should probably be in the jewelry box with the other fine threads. Oh dear. This is from that first tatting kit that we reviewed. It's a little bit tied up in here. Oh, oh, oh gentle. Also, I think something's wrong with my air conditioner because it usually turns off when it gets to temperature and I, I told it to just turn off and I set it, the thermostat to 90 degrees and it's just going still. I don't know what's going on. It's infuriating because I've already changed the thermostat in this camper once. But I guess that's just the life now. I am still looking for a house and I am reluctant to put any money into this hunk of junk of a camper until I get a because I'm I don't feel like it's fit to sell at this point like I've taken reasonably good care of it but it's also a 20 year old camper and there's only so much you can do with something that's built to be you know lived in maybe at most three months a year and hauled around so, yeah, I've been living in it full time for what, five years? So, <sighs> look at this. Oh, this would be beautiful with some, uh, with some beads. Ooh. And that's coming from someone who does not like tatting with beads very much. So these are going to be chunky bracelets as well. Also is this. Michael's very, for a very brief period of time, got these tapestry wools. And I was like, ooh, okay, it's just a couple bucks for those basically. And then I went in a month later. And mind you, I had gone in the month before and I always checked the clearance section. They were right next to the clearance. They were not on clearance. They were just in the yarn section. And then a month later I went in and they were on clearance. I don't get it. I guess they just sold nothing. Maybe there was a, maybe something fell through with the brand. Who knows? This was from a um, a star ritual we did at a local event, and now that the spell has concluded, I want to keep it to tat a little lacy thing around it because people do that, and I figured why not. Lots of yarn, lots of yarn. Oh, what's in here? Oh, apparently there was a little surprise in this one. All right, we'll put this over here in the basket. Now, 
now, mind you, I have no idea how I want to organize all this. Okay, so I don't cross stitch very often, so I think it's safe to just lay this flat on the bottom. I think that's safe to do. Watch, I'll end up wanting to cross stitch and go. Mad lad. These up here. Spines up so I can see what they are. There we go. And that other tatting book I have actually is by my bed, but that's fine. Alright. Interfacing. We'll just stick down here. I don't sew terribly often. It's usually just mending things. Alright, so I suppose I should start with sealed stuff. So it's less likely to get caught up in things if this is not evidence of that. <laughs> She's still sealed. This is sealed. I've been pulling from this, but it's not, but it still has its wrapper on. I was disappointed with how far out all the coloring is made a sample of something with it. It's not happy about that. How that turned out. Make something cool with that. I love having silk. <laughs> so soft and flush. Gentle. I took everything I had and put them in, turned in, turned them into balls to save space and I think I might need to do that again. But I also don't have a good way to sort everything out when they are in that state because the con these containers I have over here are so small. Maybe this is tall enough. That's one of the full bars of yarn turned it into a ball. That's too small, or too big rather. But, ah, come back here. You go down here too. something I should make at the maker space. This program on the CNC machine, like something to hold like a row of bees and then a whole bunch of little balls and stuff like that. Make it so it could be stacked if I run the program again, put another one on top. That's an idea. I have to bring the whole basket in. use this to make a bracelet. Since that's already open, I'll need to pack my taxi shuttles. I want to save these to tat on stream simply because they are very interesting textures. We have a velvet and we have tweed. So that ought to be neat. This is pre-made lace. That's really cute. Oh, it's one of these mulberry laces. This doesn't have a color on it, so I'll get rid of that. And then this, I think, is that pink. I should probably keep that there. The ribbon, because that is surprisingly useful. I use that to tie pieces to carts. All right, cross-stitching threads, which you can use for tatting if you're patient. 
lots of these, which I need to pack. I'm just going to pack a whole ball. No, because I finished that out for my vacation, right? There we go. How long have we been recording? 10 minutes? Okay. I do want to, guess I do need to use this sooner than later, but let's put this on top of here. That's just taking up a lot of space. And I can make a few pieces to sell. I need to take photos of stuff that I have made for the website. So let's go ahead and just put all of that in here. And I will do that sometime today after work. Oh, there's my stylus. Oh, right. This is actually a giant heart that I was going to make an apron with as like an applique. And this is for a project that is not exactly underway, but I do want to start it on stream. seem to love this color palette at events and stuff the most, so I don't want to overdo it. My tatting tin is empty. That is a bad thing. So, this is that Martha Washington lace. And since that's still a project in the works, I will leave that there. Oh yeah, that needs finishing. It's not finished, so. Buttons and such in here. Empty bobbins. Oh, right, I need to mend this. And since I'll have a thinner ball of uh, thread, I can do that easily with that. I don't need to bring this since I've got since I'll be bringing three empty bobbins. Things are going to be going to be serious, and I'm going to be tatting a lot, not just during my breaks, is when I have two tatting kits essentially to just bring everything. Oh, right, this one ended up. I'm still perfecting my jewelry, and I'm, I wear the devil out of it. I just don't take it off, and I'm trying to figure out how to make things last longer than long. So, there's that. Actually, I've been experimenting a little bit. So I'm thinking of making it a slide type with a button on the braid that can slide along and then people can tie it along where their wrist ends so they could make it so it's removable for them but perfectly sized for them as well. I'm trying to figure out how to make things as zero waste as possible and make it as one size fits all as possible and allergen friendly as possible and it's a tall order y'all and trying to make things as sustainable as possible. It is a tall order but I am trying here so don't let anybody tell you I'm not trying because I am. <laughs> That's part of why I haven't listed things to the website. <laughs> because I, with the chain for instance, I set it so it would be sized for much bigger wrists than my own. But, 
as a result, they're too big for my wrist, so I don't feel like I can take photos of them. And I want to make the lace a good amount, so it doesn't feel like anyone's being like shorted any lace on a piece. But I also want it to be small enough to accommodate smaller wrists. So on one, it's just... This is why one size fits all doesn't really work, but I'm still trying because I, if someone sees a piece of mine in the shop I want, and they want to buy it and wear it, I don't want them to feel like they have to come to me and reach out for a custom order and potentially have to pay more than it is in the shop. So there's all kinds of logistics that I hadn't really necessarily thought about when shopping for clothes and I know a lot of my friends also haven't really thought about and it usually is just more hurt and bad feelings. Oh, I have a couple of finished pieces here. These should also be photographed. Well, not all of these are finished. That definitely is, however. Hmm. All right, that's the best it's going to get for today. Oh, and I forgot one, of course. All right, you all have a lovely one.